Since that was the biggest rap beef we've seen in a while, and because Kendrick Lamar not only took it there but also dropped Diaz, you all know I couldn't wait to solve this issue because I wasn't that affluent. Kendrick is taking it a step further, and this beef is far from finished in one of his tracks, but things are about to become extremely dirty soon. Track following this track against Drake. Detailed Drake's purported secret daughter and baby mama, while Drake disputes this, it appears likely to be accurate as the baby mama is said to have come forward to disclose her. Identify and condemn Drake for supposedly being a deadbeat father, but that's not all. People she also allegedly supported Kendrick's accusations that Drake was a creep, and she allegedly gave. Due to some extremely devastating video evidence, Kendrick has been accused by Drake of being creepy towards young girls. The tapes purport to show Drake in a compromising position with these youngsters. And now that this is starting to get serious, please pay attention. I'll need your input throughout the entire video, so please subscribe if you haven't already. I'll explain how. It's evident that Kendrick is out to destroy Drake forever. As a white male, you stated that you would have been a better person if you had been a young girl. Whoever authored that for you ought to have given the white boy more consideration. It's your writer's message, whatever translation you made. To them, that wasn't the proper route for them to proceed. And as a writer, you had to distance yourself from that white lad because it wasn't the appropriate line. That's right, everyone. Kendrick Lamar is now considered a menace on par with the Avengers. Why on earth did he devour Drake in a way that didn't sit well with them? We're not liked by them. Do you know how many times I called myself a minor this weekend? I even wiped off my kneecap so I could grip walk, but Drake also took a few jabs and hits it's at Kendrick in the feud. Initially consisted of a few songs and a few photos here and there, but over the weekend, things took a serious turn. Kendrick didn't just unleash one diss track. I'm telling you, that was like seeing a heavyweight boxing match when one boxer didn't stand a chance. Drake is going to need some significant damage control because of the trilogy he struck. Just when you thought it couldn't get any more bizarre, Kendrick started spewing out some old baby mother problems. Kendrick had just served him a dish of humiliation that is extremely difficult to recover from. Since the baby mother is supposedly supporting Kendrick and not her baby daddy, it looks like this feud between Dr. and Kendrick may be genuine after all. Let's take a quick look back. We've been building for a long time, everyone. Let's go back to 2013, when Kendrick stole Big Sean's song, as evidenced by Drake's inability to tolerate some friendly rivalry. Remember on Control when he declared, I'm going to get it, even if you're in the game, he shouted out a number of prominent figures in the game to make it obvious that he was coming for the throne. Way, and if you're already there, you should really go now. I've heard that barbershops are constantly having heated arguments over who is the greatest MC, Kendrick Lamar, Nas, Eminem, and Andre 3. That maneuver lit a fire beneath Drake, and the rivalry has been simmering ever since. New ninjas, new ninja, I simply don't get involved. He was making it very clear that he was coming for the throne. Since he stated, but this is hip-hop, and those ninjas ought to know what time it is, this also applies to Jermaine Cole, Big Sean J, Rocky Drake, ASAP he Mills, and Tyler Miller. It's affection for you guys, but I'm attempting to kill you ninjas. That's why, although other rappers used Kendrick's influence against Stride, Drake took it personally since he saw it as a spirit of competition. There was some mild shading between them when the situation first started to get really tumultuous a few years ago, but things undoubtedly got worse a few weeks ago when J. Cole was in his. When they quarrel, J. Cole says, Love, because MC is hot and K is at AO, and me and The Weeknd D dropped Kendrick's name with theirs, referring to them as the Big Three in rep. We started the league with the Big Three, but as of right now, I believe Muhammad and Mr. Kendrick didn't get along, K did say no, and he chose to respond by clapping back at J. Cole and Drake in his. Collaborated with Metro Boom and Title in that way, saying things like, It's up lost too many soldiers not to play it safe if you walk around with that stick it ain't Andre 3K believe I won't drop the location I still. You applause for the hard work in the comments section. Metro and Drake both had a complicated past, and Metro didn't hold back. Metro is the mother of the main three ninjas even started spitting out his own song, daring everyone and their mother to join in and take a jab at Drake. To his surprise, people were lining up and eager to strike out at Drake. They even had me and the Batgirl talking about BBL Drizzy. Oh, that's BBL Drizzy. Tell me if I should accept the challenge, but Drake appears to have a significant target on his. Drake was caught in the midst of a full-fledged showdown between these rappers who aren't hitting their mark. Of course, Drake wasn't ready to give Kendrick the final say. He responded with not one but two diss tracks directed directly at Kendrick push-ups and Taylor made, perhaps believing he had them beat. They don't like us, at least not without putting up a fight. 
the advantage, but boy, was he mistaken when Kendrick returned with Euphoria, a six-minute masterwork of verbal annihilation that was like watching a master at work. He wasn't content with just one small knockout punch, so he delivered another one in LA, and let me tell you, it was equally as vicious as the first one. He also revealed Drake's camp. It was very nasty, and Kendrick won with that diss hit, but Drake was painted as the bad guy by revealing moles and traitors and throwing money around to acquire dirt on Kendrick. Drake refused to back down. He released a new diss tune titled Family Matters and I gave him a hard time because he held his own. He also accused Kendrick of being a hypocrite. He proceeded to discuss some extremely severe details regarding Kendrick's personal life before drawing comparisons between the troubled connection between Whitney Houston and Bobby Brown and Kendrick's relationship with his fiancée. It's undoubtedly a low blow for all of you, but hey, everything is fair and love and rap beef, so I don't know. Drake, though, did his thing with that song because a few years back there were reports. Showed Kendrick purportedly touching his fiance, but he refuted the claims. Oh yes, what they said about you in Vegas beating a guy bloody and doing something too. Some women claim to have documentation and all of this, but after that I never heard anything more about it. That's because it's ridiculous and the most idiotic thing I could have thought up. I don't think so, and the person who made that up should really apologize not to me, but to the ladies who genuinely go out there and understand what I mean, because it's a serious problem. There are people out there who truly understand what that person's name means that is, something that has been raised to a level that is far superior to that, that's not cool. I was thinking, I'm sure if that happened, there would have been a police report, and you would have been arrested. That's because there are women out there who get along and don't say anything, and you know, they go through that. Nonsense. That's that's stupid. It's That's all 100% dumb when you read some things in the press about artists. That story, I didn't even think that was. Not only did Drake not hold back, but he even went so far as to suggest that one of Kendrick's children might not even be his own. I was like, there's no, but don't get the twist. It was suggested that his fiancée, Whitney, had an affair with Kendrick's manager, Dave Freak. As for the social media post, let me tell you, fans are loving Whitney's actions since she observes Dave but not Kendrick, and each time she shares a photo of her kids. Dave is there in the comments section, leading emoticons and other symbols that are guaranteed to raise an eyebrow. However, Drake's Family Matters song was now really spicy because, before we could even inquire or enjoy the responses, Kendrick responded with Meet the Grams making it seem as though Kendrick had been waiting in. Meet the GHS, who absolutely eclipsed Family Matters, and meet the wings that were hankering after a chance to spill some serious tea, which Drake practically served out on a silver platter. Moreover, Graham's Kendrick didn't hold back, going after each and every member of Drake's family. He didn't stop there either, branding Drake as a creep and exposing him for some pretty shady behavior. Like every remark Kendrick makes, it stokes the flames, leaving Drake fumbling to attempt to put it out. Nam dropped Jake's mother, telling Sandra to sit down, because what I'm about to say is serious. Now listen, listen, Weinstein should be effed up in the S for the rest of their lives because he despises black women and has hypersexualized them. Your son is a sick man with horrible thoughts. I believe ninjas like him should die. Kings of a Nimo obsession acquired facial hair because he realized that having a beard simply fit him better. He also got sex offenders on Hovo and maintained a monthly allowance since he believed that a child's needs should never be compromised. If you're not up to date on this particular topic, there have been predators like him hanging around, so we had to raise our daughters knowing that he was keeping his child around them. There have been rumors for some time regarding Drake's dubious behavior, especially with regard to young girls. One example is the case of Millie Bobby Brown, the young girl from Stranger Things. Let that sink in for a second. Drake was offering her advice on boys when she was just 14 years old. She had opened up about how she and Drake were messaging frequently like every day. A 30-something man in his 30s conversing with a 14-year-old about dating raises eyebrows and sparks discussions about proper boundaries. How is your relationship going? With Drake, tell me about your friendship and how it all started. I adore Drake, I met him in Australia, and he's genuinely amazing both as a friend and a terrific role model. The other day we texted each other and he said, I miss you so much, I replied, I miss you even more, he was coming to Atlanta, so I'm definitely going to go see him. I'm really excited, you know. What guidance does he offer you? For example, does he say something like, he helps me, he's great, he's wonderful, I love him with you, that remains in the text. When she was only 17 and he was in his 30s, he was apparently also messaging Billy. There were also rumors that he dated Bella Harris the minute she turned 18 and that he kissed A. 
fan 17, was on stage when she revealed to him that she was 17 years old. See, I've gotten carried away. I get underscore underscore like this. I only. You know why you look that way? Well, listen to me. I enjoyed myself, but I'm not sure if I should feel bad about it or not. Afterward, I enjoyed myself by pushing my music chest and don't even get me started on. The rumors that Drake purportedly employs people merely to assist him in picking up chicks are just the tip of the iceberg, my sweetheart. Everything I'm going to tell you is accurate and truthful. Told me that Drake has an assistant whose job it is to go across town hunting for very gorgeous chicks. I learned this from one of the crew members on Drake's tour. He was the man who handled all the tech stuff. He locates the women, interviews them, and chooses the best looking one to take to Drake's place, where they have intercourse. Let me tell you that Kendrick knew about it and he did not hold back on any sort of track he just plain pulled. In other words, Drake essentially has his own private tunnel.